All right, so in this video, we're doing Manus, Father of the Abyss. Um, honestly, I don't remember much about this boss fight. I did this like nine months ago, but uh, I'll, I'll do my, fest my best to be fast. Um, all right, so Manus doesn't have a lot of attacks. Is it overhead slam? You roll it, punish it. It's got a, He's got a good recovery window there. Charged up overhead slam where he stretches out his arm. Punish that too. It's fine too. Same attack. You can punish at his elbow or forearm area. Now, yeah, when he starts to get angry and stuff, you want to back up because he does a lot of damage there. Um, the only reason why I survived that because I have maxed out Havel's armor. Yeah. Since this is a more difficult boss, you don't want to heal and punish in the same window. Like, that's very foolish. Or, um, or at least... I mean... Magic builds could get away with it, right? But, you know, if you're playing a magic build, you probably don't even need a walkthrough, honestly. Because it's, it's not really as technical. Alright, so... Yeah, that lunge attack, that jump attack is pretty punishable, too. That jump attack is punishable. I think all of his jumps are punishable. Manus gets to be a very repetitive fight, so you just got to be patient, because he's very tanky. Easily the hardest boss of the three Dark Souls games. Ooh. Yeah, that, that uppercut, uh, you can dodge it by, you know, rolling under the elbow of the arm that's doing the uppercut. Oh, it's like 900 damage right there. I'm backing out because I want to heal. When you back up like that, it baits his ranged attack, which you can punish, so that's nice. But uh, it's not it's not that consistent. Okay, he's raging, so I'm just gonna back up. Huh. Punish right there. I've got a nice fast weapon because I want time to move and dodge and I want I want to like, you know, keep my stress as low as possible. Because this boss killed me probably a hundred times. I mean, this is New Game Plus 7 and above, you know, he doesn't mess around. He's more aggressive and hits harder and, you know, has more health. And Okay, this attack. Okay, he's gonna range shit down. Um, he's a silver medallion. Gets me down to like one health there, which is funny. But yeah, you need that silver medallion. For sure. Or silver talisman, sorry. The snap for that medallion is about where your elbows go back behind your back, so, yeah. You can use a silver medallion there, too, it works. But you could also go to the center, though it does kind of bring you in a tough area when you do that. You really don't want to get close to Manus like that, because then um, it's, it's harder to see his telegraphs. And he punishes. Manus is a very hard-hitting boss, so don't try to tank his attacks. You gotta no-hit this as best you can. Oh. Oh. I was late for that punishment window, so I didn't try to go in. I would recommend doing that. Yeah, that Silver Talisman can be spammed, so yeah, definitely use that. If you use it too early, it helps. Oh, I used two hits. That's risky. I don't recommend doing that. Jeez, he has so much health.
Ah uh, yes, this attack. That will do a lot of damage if you mess up the, uh, the talisman. But yeah, using the talisman is more is actually more easy and consistent than trying to dodge. He has, you know, um, what's it called that those attacks that attack has tracking on it, and he uses it if he thinks it's your biggest weakness, <laughs> pretty much. Welcome to New Game Plus Six and, and above. Yeah, for that attack, there's always like a final orb that's larger that comes down. You want to dodge that. Too. Yeah. Yep, there it is. He's done. That's Manus, new game plus six and above. Works for all playthroughs.